The Arduino has an LED in it that you can control. In this video, we'll see how to make it blink. All you need is your Arduino connected to your computer with the USB cable. Open up Embryo and make a new project. I'll call this one Blink Built-in LED. The new project starts with one agent, which is already open for editing. Right-click somewhere in the editor and add an analog digital output node from the input output menu. From the pin type dropdown, select digital, then select pin 13, which is the pin that the built-in LED is connected to. Now connect to your Arduino using the communication panel in the bottom left of the screen. First make sure you have the correct Arduino model selected, then make sure you have the correct COM port, then click on the connect button. The Arduino logo will pop up while Embryo uses the Arduino software to upload a connection program. When it's done, you'll see a good connection message in the serial communication area. If there is a problem, like perhaps you picked the wrong Arduino model or port number, the error will be shown in the bottom right of the screen. Now that Embryo is connected to your Arduino, you can click and drag on the input activation of the output node to turn on and off the LED. When the activation value goes above 0.5, the LED turns on and turns back off when the activation is below 0.5. Next, I add a switch node from the flow control menu and attach its output activation to the output node. Play with the switch node to see how it works by pressing on the input trigger buttons. When the switch is on, it outputs an activation of 1 and 0 when it's off. Clicking on the toggle switch turns the LED on and off. I want the toggle trigger to repeatedly fire to make the LED blink. To do this, I add a timer node from the flow control menu. When you click the start trigger, the output animates from 0 to 1 over 1 second. Notice that when the timer finishes, the finished output trigger fires. I want the timer to run again after it finishes, so I'll drag a connection from the finish trigger to the start input trigger. When the timer finishes, I also want it to toggle the switch, so I also connect the finish trigger to the toggle input on the switch. Now the LED is blinking. I manually started this timer running. I want it to start by itself when the program starts, so I add a startup trigger node from the flow control menu and connect it to the start input on the trigger. Now my program is done, so I click on the compile and upload button to upload the finished program, which now runs on the Arduino without a connection to Embryo.